All right, welcome to this Fusion 360 tutorial. So uh, we'll be covering uh, the Scalarworks Leap Mount, and uh, it's a really satisfying shape to model. Uh, it's something that I'm modeling part of a bigger project. Um, in this tutorial, you'll actually see uh, the mistakes that I make. I decided to keep it raw and not to cut out anything. Uh, I left everything in there so you can follow along and see all the mistakes that I've made and how I approach certain things and changed. Um, Methodology, m methodologies uh, on uh, modeling some of these things. So, uh, yeah, enjoy it. I hope you learned something out of it. And uh, if you like it, maybe leave a like um, or a comment. Uh, if you have any suggestions or uh, recommendations, uh, you can leave them in the comments. And then, yeah, hopefully one day or somewhere I'll make a tutorial on them. All right, enjoy. All right. Let's get into it. This is a pick rail that I made before. You can, there's a cool tutorial on this on uh, NYC CNC. They have a proper tutorial on how to make a good uh, Picatinny rail from, uh, from sketch. Uh, I'm not gonna go over that now. We'll just use that later. Uh, we're just gonna add some reference real quick. So, um, front, yeah, that's correct. Um, I'm not, won't scale that up yet. And then add another one to the rear, yeah, that's correct. So, um, start a sketch center. I'm pressing S on the, the keyboard, bringing up that dialog. Um, so that's, I think the width of this is 1.338. I have reference on the other side of, um, on my other screen. Not sure, we don't know what the length uh, is yet. So we'll just drag that. Um, I think, Let's rotate it wrong. Um, I think the height is 40 mils, but I'm not sure. Um, I don't have that information. We just have the width, so we'll use. I have the width, so we'll use this um, reference as uh, how how big this has to be. Um, so I know it's 40 mils. This is the width, so we'll just have to rotate it. So opening the move tool, uh, we'll grab the center back bottom face, and we'll rotate this. 90 degrees, 90, and uh, now we'll open uh, is it this guy, this guy, edit canvas, grab this guy, scale it up so it fits. All right, so it's not like it doesn't have to be perfect, but uh, we'll use this. Um, we'll use a mirror modifier as well. So this guy actually. Uh, now we know that we can uh, just grab this face, it's fine. And uh, oops, let's just go into face mode and move it. There we go. I'll even use this box as a starting point. And then uh, bring this canvas, uh, edit canvas. So now we know how big or how high this guy has to be. Um, so we can just edit the box to fit the dimensions a little bit better. So, I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect, like I said. <coughs> and I just grab these faces again and uh, push this out. Pressing Q, just pulling the face. There we go. So now we have a rough estimation on how uh, and now we want to make this. So I'm just going to move these out. Um, move this guy out. Out of the way. Move. Finally, now the fun can start. So I think what we'll start doing is we'll actually just start getting um, these shapes cut out first, the big shapes. We won't uh, cut out the Picatinny rail because we have a pick rail. We'll do that at the end, uh, but we'll start these cutouts. Um, so I'm just going to start with the line tool, pressing L, um, clicking on the axis that we want, snapping it, and there we go. We have one line. We don't have to complete the lines, and we'll do this and this, and that's it. So two sketches, finish, and uh, we'll use the uh, the cut tool uh, where is it surface mesh 
the split tool. There we go. So I'm using I'm going to use a shortcut for that. Uh, Shift S is my shortcut, but you don't have to. Um, so having selecting your object and then selecting these lines. There's this option to toggle uh, extend past faces. So this cuts through the body. And then we know that we don't need these shapes anymore. So we delete that in object mode or in body mode. And then we want to split down the middle as well. So something that's really cool is you can open the split tool and then you can select and you can click and hold. Uh, cancel. You can click and hold and grab the axes at the side. That's the wrong axes. Uh, y, Z axes. And then you can just delete that. And we'll do modifications later on. We can start cutting this out as well. So line tool. That's the bring this down. Okay. And we'll modify this line as well. So there's this curvature modification, split modification. That's fine. And that's fine. You can obviously do this later after the cut as well, but I like doing it in the sketches. And then we can uh, split this again. So we'll just use that and delete. Again, split tool um, used for that. This guy over here, split body. And uh, yeah, we have the, the main shape. We can start mirroring it because both sides have exactly that. But um, first of all, I want to get these shapes uh, cut out as well. So we'll do line tool, select the axes, bring it down. That's good. Um, there's another one here. Bring that down. Something that's cool is while you're in the line tool, you can press the move tool, M, grab these and just move them up a little. And then we'll do finish sketch. sketch. Apologize for that. Um, we can actually go back into these lines. Well, we'll do it later on. I'll show do different two different method methods. And we'll just split the body again. Select these curvature lines and cut them out and remove. We don't need this. So this should be the front, leaning to the front and then to the back. So it's already looking cool. Um, we can use the chamfer tool. So uh, on my keyboard, it's called C or fillet tool as it's called in Fusion. Um, and we can just make a nice curvature here. I'm not even looking to the reference and just kind of know that it has to have a little bit of a fillet. Um, chamfer tool will obviously just split the edge. Um, that's not what we want right now. We want a nice round round edge. And then we can look into cutting this hole out. Now, if you look at your reference, or I'll just bring it over here, you can see that on the other side, it has this um, rounding uh, for obviously for the screw. So um, just bring this back. So there's two methods that I can use, but I think we'll do it straight in the sketch. Um, so we'll go back line tool, uh, select your axes. I'll select the back. Uh, because if you select a ax, um, axis that has an angle, it will start drawing at that angle, which is really cool and really helpful, but it's not what we want right now. Uh, so we'll do this kind of straight and then there. And then uh, we'll use the move tool, some of this. Uh, I wonder if I can bring these guys. Well, bring this guy, this guy, there. and then we'll move this line back. That's cool. And while we're in in line tool, while the sketch is still open, we'll press S. There's a center diameter circle. I'll click here. Um, and just so I think from the reference, it's something. Let's say there. That's cool. And then you can press T for trim and you can trim these edges off. So you just have this part of the sketch and now we can just finish it. Um, we'll do the, yeah, I'll do the chamfering later as well. So, uh, or the fillet. So split the tool again, shift S on my side, whatever your shortcut is, or you can just use the split body tool up there and uh, we have the body. So we'll just select the line and cut that out. We don't need this. 
I'm um, just going to clean this up. So we'll just grab these two faces, move them up. And what's cool is once you grab the axes and move it in a direction, you can select whatever face is on that axis um, and it will snap to that face. Um, super convenient, super clean. And then, hmm, this is weird. Why is this not all the way through? Oh, no, actually, I don't know. that that's odd actually you know what which is really cool I can actually show you something that's really cool so we'll make a cylinder I'm pressing S uh, selecting um, and now it will snap to where the center of that that face is here somewhere why is it not gonna why is it not doing this let's delete that real quick cancel We go. So it finds that center, a center diameter of the previous circle that we made, uh, which is really cool. And then you can just move this uh, we'll move it here, and we'll just make a join. And then it's all the way through now, which is really cool. And you can you can chamfer this if you want to. I would advise maybe not chamfering um, as quickly. Uh, like find your your main shapes first. But I know this is not going to change much, so. We can just grab these edges and chamfer them as well. I think they all have like uh, different diameters of chamfer, um, but I'm not going to really worry about that too much. That is not supposed to happen. So maybe we should actually go back to the sketch and uh, chamfer in in the uh, sketches so really cool you can go back to your sketches right here it saves all your sketches you can just double click on that and uh, we'll do it in here so we'll grab that um, that's okay and uh, grab this guy I like that that's fine this is good that's good uh, yeah okay now we can just chamfer this again uh, make five split it Delete that, and we'll uh, move these faces again up and select the face, and that's it. And then we'll <coughs> uh, just create that cylinder again. Select the face that you want to draw on. Uh, where's my reference? There we go. Just snap to that, bring it all the way in, snap it to this face, and we'll join. Easy stuff really easy stuff and then you already have our chamfers and it's nice and clean and we can just go and fill it these apologies if I keep uh, referring to it as chamfers I'm actually do mean fill it but then again I will refer to a, f a chamfer as a chamfer as well so yeah some will be around it some will not I just need to get used to changing the terminology a little bit all right so I think at this point I mean this is all the stuff that's kind of exactly the same uh, through um, on both sides we can actually I think we can round these as out as well so we'll just grab these faces and uh, give them a little bit of a rounding I wonder if I made these too, too big so we'll just bring that down you can press Q and just press on those faces and just pull them back I think that's fine and yeah okay so now we can just uh, mirror this guy um, because we want to start getting all of that and that detail in there and we want to start making the screw uh, getting these edges cut out we can actually do that right now uh, because you can see it has these edges it seems like it's actually going a little bit round like the shape is not um, it has some of like a rounded angle to it we're just gonna eyeball this so let's see going to the top when you double uh, double click the middle mouse button, it will just center your view. So it seems like from my reference um, that the back side, this is the the rear side, um, that it cuts it cuts a little bit through these uh, on these angle, and I think it catches a little bit of the, the rounding as well. So grab the line tool, grab this, and uh, I think let's cut it like so. I think that's fine. 
finish. And uh, let's see. Minecraft is. Did I get the right angle? So difficult to see. I think it's too wide, but it's not a train smash. Not really a train smash. I can just pull this guy a little bit in. Oh, it's not gonna do too much. Let's just check the reference again. Um, from the back, it seems like it does cut through this because you want to round that out. So. Um, and then we'll just grab the pullet tool and we'll just make that round. Like, like this, that'll be fine. So it's nice and round. We'll do the same thing here. As you happen to the, the top face that has to round out. Oop. So I'm using a, a script, uh, Auto Hotski script to keep my, um, my, mice, uh, my mouse um, navigation the same uh, orbital controls and everything the same uh, as it is in Maya. So, um, if you guys want to, I'll link that as well. No, we'll just do a, a cut. I think it, it cuts through here as well. So, and do that. Finish the sketch. Press Shift S and cut. And then we'll remove that face. I have to be like 100%. These are barely noticeable. I'm al I almost didn't even notice that it had that rounded face until I started studying the reference a little bit more. All right, I think we're pretty much good to go on this end. We can start mirroring this. So we'll grab this guy, um, Alt-Shift-S, that's my key. But for the mirror tool, you can go down here, I think. And uh, there should be mirror. Uh, there's a line. Um, where is the mirror tool? Not sure. Do you press S? Mirror. Oh yeah, you can just press S mirror and you can just um, snap it to the design controls as well. That's sometimes helpful. And then you can just kick the axes or the face or whatever from where you want to mirror. So this guy. And uh, I don't like the line in here, so we'll just boolean it. Um, you can join. There is a combine, as it is called in Fusion. We'll just um, select the two and do join. And then what I'll do is I'll grab these faces and delete and then we'll just join them in the middle just keeps things a little bit cleaner averages out and everything so I mean it's not it's not a huge train smash it's just something that I like to do and there we go so now we have the both sides and we can start making cuts and um, breaking this off so grab this line tool seems like it's a little bit off on scale but we'll use the one side it's fine uh, Bring this by, bring this off, and uh, yeah, yeah, that's fine. And then finish the sketch, and we'll just grab the body again. Same thing as we're doing before, just grabbing. And now we have two bodies, so that's pretty cool. We have this body right here. Oh, it seems like I did not use angles. Does this thing have that? Yeah. I don't have the angle, so we'll uh, grab actually the chamfer tool, Shift C on my side. Um, and uh, what's really cool about the chamfer tool is you can change the angle as well. Uh, at this point, I think we'll just stick with a normal 45 degree. I think that's fine. Just do that. We have those angles in there. I wonder if I actually added that chamfer in my previous model. Not sure. Doesn't really matter. Um, we keep on moving on. So we know that this wheel will be on this side, and on this side we, we have this guy. Um, I don't think there's much more to do uh, on this guy. I think, oh yeah, so based on the reference, this is the reference I'm referring to right here. Um, we we'll have to add some Boolean cuts in here. So we'll do uh, circular uh, diameter, and uh, I think this is fine. Finish sketch, uh, move tool. Yeah, move, let's go. Okay, whatever. Doesn't really matter. We can do it later. 
press E for extrude, just bring it through all the way. And here you can see objects to cut, we'll just use uh, body 14, so we don't cut through that body as well. And uh, yeah. You know what, actually what I'm going to do is, let's just go back, um, redo, whoa, did I go back too much now? Let's finish the sketch. Let's. Uh, oh, I can't redo. Okay. I'll just select this, cut it out again. So we have different. Oh, let's just close that. Otherwise, finish the sketch. Shift S. Uh, and then Shift C. this body on its own. Actually what we'll do is we'll use um, the cylinder tool, click on the face that we want, I think this is fine. We'll uh, do an extrude for now, uh, let's just say new body. Click on this guy, control C, control V, and we'll just move it over to this side. You can see this face is a little bit too wide cut, but I mean it's fine. Uh, then we'll uh, move these guys inwards so we can cut it up. And Boolean, cut, select these two, and that's it. So those cuts are made that we have on the reference. Now we want that circular for this guy to pop out on the other side, so we'll use cylinder again, click the face, uh, snap to where that's circular because uh, it it's really cool that it keeps that diameter. I think it's a little bit bigger than this hole. Uh, it seems like it will cut a little bit with the bottom face as well, so we'll do something like this. And we can just, again, cut, make sure that it doesn't cut all the bodies. It can actually, we can actually pull this guy all the way through uh, because um, on that side, it will have to cut with that same exact diameter uh, all the way through. So that's fine, we can actually do that. And there we go. So if you right click, isolate, you can see that we have this guy now. Um, if you go look at the reference, I think I'll, I won't do that right now. Uh, but if you look at the reference here, we'll model all of this as well. But um, for now, I'm just going to leave it. I want to focus on that circular wheel first, and then we'll get into that. Um, and then at the end, we'll add all the chamfers and everything. So uh, let's just unisolate. I think what I'll do is I'll actually hide this guy as well. So, bodies, uh, hide body 14. We just want to focus on this guy right now. <coughs> so, back to this side. We want to create a circular um, on this face. We'll make it yay big. So, we want to cut out the, the circular shape into this body look at the reference I don't think it's that deep uh, I think it's not like that we can always move the faces more forward if we have to but I think this is fine uh, now this sketch is uh, bothering me a little bit um, it's a little bit in my way so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna uh, grab this canvas uh, this canvas right here I'll just say uh, move and uh, we'll move it this side, so it's just a little bit out of my way. Okay, so we have the cut out there, and uh, now we can start making this circular wheel. Um, we'll use the same face, grab that, and uh, we'll just make this a new body. Wonder. Nah, it's not, it's not needed to make like a uh, new material just yet. So it stands a little bit outside of the body. So I'll grab this face and it's a little bit here. I do actually think, because this wheel doesn't look that... Right, my computer crashed and uh, <laughs> I had to quickly redo that. But something that I noticed was if you're looking to the front, so this is the front. If you're looking to the front, this wheel has to be on the left 
not on the right um, so I was deceived by this um, so I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep on modeling as we are modeling right now and then at the end we'll just mirror it all around otherwise I'll have to flip this and it's 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 not worth it to do that right now um, so we'll just keep on going as we are and then in, in the end we'll just flip this whole thing to the other side if you want to flip it you can um, then I would just advise you to move um, move this piece over to the back side or to the rear um, or flipping that image uh, so it, it, it accommodates what you're doing because this image has to be flipping to this side now um, so yeah if it's just based on the reference that I'm seeing right here so if you look so the front side and this is the left this will be the left of the, uh, the weapon or you can see here so this will be the left side of the weapon facing forward you have the wheel um, if we're looking here we have the front side we're actually we have it all the, the wrong way around so we'll keep it as is for now but yeah just keep that in mind <coughs> all right back to the wheel so I think what we'll do is we'll start with the, the offset over there uh, you can just press O press this edge uh, press this face and then press that edge and uh, we'll bring this in here and say finish sketch and then press E move it in I think that's fine and then we'll do offset again click the face click the edge bring this all the way over here and we'll just pull that all or cut that all through so and we'll just cut obviously we, we want to cut one body so all right now we can start making these right these cuts so line tool select the axes like this and uh, close it off doesn't really matter I'll extrude from there so E extrude all the way let's not do anything right now new body and uh, <coughs> we want to now uh, circulate this around uh, on these axes I think it's 20 uh, if I'm not mistaken so we'll do s s um, s I think it's called mm, uh, what is it called array circular pattern there we go circular pattern that's what we want select uh, this face the axes will be this and we want to do 20 yeah, that looks good I wonder before I do that, let's just uh, chamfer these real quick. Nice. Yeah, let's just do that real quick. Otherwise, I'll have to go do it individually, and it's uh, it's gonna suck. Okay, so let's do that again. So S pattern, circular pattern. I'll select the axes, and we'll do twenty. Okay, and we'll grab this guy. So uh, before we do that, um, let's just get the chamfers on these edges. So uh, let's grab all these bodies. Uh, move to group. Just make a new group here. Uh, new group. And we'll grab guys and put them in that group not like the group real quick so I'll just do the chamfers real quick um, so chamfer tool that should be fine I'm just using equal edges but you can you can change the the edge if you want to uh, based on your reference or if you feel like it uh, it just seems like it's a normal 45 for me so I'm just gonna leave it as is all right now we can bring this back and you can see there's a little bit of a gap between the chamfer and that's what you want so um, now we can just boolean this out so cut and then we'll just start selecting all of these and oh, didn't select all of them there you go pretty 
cool. If you want to, you can go and chamfer these edges. I'm not gonna do that because I wanna bake uh, from this model. Um, so uh, that will the normal map will handle that for me, but if you want to, you can go and just grab these edges individually and you know make nice chamfers. Maybe I'll do it um, later on. You know what, let's just do it. So cancel. That's gonna be tedious. doesn't want to isolate it's fine It's really tedious. I could make actually have gone with like a faster selection, but it's all right. Okay, it's fine. Over and done. So now we'll just create the circular um, or the the axes that go through here. So that rod. Um, so we'll do this circular. Select this guy and. Move it all the way through. Now we'll make this uh, new body. And then what we'll do is we'll press Q. Um, and we can just grab that edge. Okay. Doesn't want to do it, but we'll, we'll do this again. So I'll just buy it. Okay. It's fine. Select, select. Isolate. No. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Add the space. Move it to this space. And we'll just join them. Join. Select. And isolate. And we'll just. <coughs> this guy is near. Alright. Good to go. Hmm, I shouldn't have cut it all the way through. Then I could have uh, just grabbed and extruded and made a new body from it and afterwards just extrude all the way through. Uh, yeah, I didn't think that one through, but it's alright. You can actually, you know, you can just, these are really getting in my way now, so move that. I'll do circular, uh, grab this. And that. I'll do mm, new body. Just move that face a little. I'll do the same thing here. So grab this face, grab that, grab that edge, move it all the way through. Same. New body. And we'll move that back. Okay, so at this point we have a really good base. Uh, I think it looks really good. I mean, we have some hard edges here. You can see these edges are still hard and all that, but we'll do that at the end. We'll handle all the chamfering and everything in the end. But at this point, I'm really, really happy. Um, we can actually do a chamfer here. And we can fill it as well. Um, so now I think we can actually see where where's my reference with this guy over here I think we can actually start with that internal piece this piece right here we can actually do that now so we're gonna hide this guy um, let's do it here I already know what the shortcut is for hiding I should look into that okay <coughs> 
so same thing uh, we'll start with making um, the boolean shape that's going out here the extrude so we'll start with that we'll do circular grab this grab that uh, this should be I think this should be good we'll move that out just say new body and it seems like it cuts off at this point and then it extrudes extra so we'll make two of these um, so for the first one what I'll do is I'll just grab this face grab that and we'll just boolean these together yeah should be good so join or cut and we'll select no no we want to join that's my fault and we'll just chamfer this or fillet it fine. We'll make a circular shape again. Select this face. Uh, select that edge. Oh. oh. How's that working? That's that's frustrating. Huh. That's really frustrating. Uh, you know what? I'll just do this. Cut new body. We'll uh, use the move tool to move it to this diameter. Oh well. Doesn't even want to do that. Okay, we'll just eyeball it like this. Um, it's fine. We'll fix that now. Grab a line tool, and we want to. It seems like chamfer something, like something like this. Yeah. Uh, Shift S to split the body. We'll delete that. And it seems like oh, it seems like it gets cut through here as well. So uh, let's make a line. Here, actually, we should actually move that down. Make it something like that. Finish sketch. And we'll just uh, shift S actually. All right. Uh, we'll just move this face a little bit up to Q, uh, or you can use the move tool. Doesn't really matter. We'll just that's all right. Okay, now to fix this guy with this other guy. So let's just boolean them together first. Uh, and then see if I can delete this face. Oh, we can't do that. Let's see if I can move this up and then delete that face. And then we'll grab this and this. Man, this is not what I want. Yeah. That's not what I wanted. I wonder, let's just, I have to go back. Apologies. Um, we're just doing this all live, so I'm trying to diagnose what the hell is going on here. Like, why is that not allowing me? Am I, am I missing something? Like, what is wrong here? Hmm. Let's just isolate this and see what's going on. Not sure what's happening. Helps, yeah. So should be fine here. Let's just unisolate, and then we'll use the line tool to cut the line out that we want. So 
as axes and it seems like it is up from here and makes a deep incline to here and that's a finished sketch um, shift s split the body that's it let's uh let's close this line first otherwise it's not gonna To go now, isolate. We can just grab this face again. So E for extrude, push it all the way through, and cut that out. Hmm. I wonder if we can just move this guy a little bit upwards. And yeah, that's fine. It just doesn't seem like in manufacturing it would work like that. I don't know. What do I know? Okay. It seems like these have to go a little bit upwards um, from based on, on the these holes have to go a little bit upwards. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's not what I want. Shift T release and move. Okay, so we can actually chamfer this. Let's do that, that's fine. And oh, there's some, looks like these blocks up here. So just select this. Just gonna eyeball it. And they have to be perfect. Yeah, that seems about right. Maybe somewhere. Actually, what you can do is you can just, oh no, I already joined it, it's fine. So we'll just do this guy place him up so what we'll do is for the upwards we'll do that face for the frontwards we'll do that and fine we have those pieces in there and I wonder if this gap that I cut in here that the pick roll will actually take care of that We'll have to maybe like after we do that boolean go back to the shape and just uh, look at it but I'm not gonna worry too much about it now. Uh, you wanna just get back into no cancel go back into object mode that would be nice thank you and uh <coughs> yeah maybe we'll see uh, we'll just do more lines uh, going to here here and here and we'll finish and then we'll use the move tool I think we can use the move tool on this guy and just bring it out a little and we'll use this uh, shift s split and cut so uh, this guy You want to push this guy in. So Q to move it down. That actually has to be a little bit bigger. But it seems like all of this has to move a little bit backwards. So we'll just F3, grab this and grab this. And move it backwards. Okay, doesn't want to move. Well, we, we can just push these. pushing together it's fine we don't have to worry about I mean you're not really gonna see this anyway so I'm not gonna really worry about it in this tutorial it's just wasting time I think what I'm gonna do is just delete these and recreate them real quick oops circle
can get out of this. Oh no, ready out of isolation. All good in the hood. All right, getting back to the main body. I think we can add the screw that has to go in here. Um, so if we enable our reference again, the screw uh, has to go in here on the back side. Yeah. So we'll do circular. I'm going to grab the axes. I'm not going to click on the face, otherwise it will draw uh, at an angle. So the axes and uh, should be good. New body. Okay. should be fine okay. cut select object to cut and then we can bolt the screw inside which is really cool so you can just press E select that face extrude um, we'll just extrude it to here and we'll make it new body and then we can isolate this isolate and then we can do a chamfer on this edge we'll do Something like that. We'll do an offset, so O, click on the face, click on the edge, offset until here. And then we can do extrude, extrude it in, and then we can just chamfer that. That should be good. And then we want to use create that six. So uh, I it's called inscribe polygon. Uh, click the face, click the center point, and uh, do something like, well, let's just do it at an angle as well. Okay, and we'll just extrude from the polygon as well. So we'll make this a uh, new body. And group this, okay, yeah, let's just do this. Doesn't have to be that deep. It doesn't really matter. Boolean it out. Maybe extend it a little bit. All right, and there you go. We have that screw inside there. We can actually move this guy forward. It's a little bit more visible. Should be good. All right. So from what I have, or what I think, we still have some holes that we have to cut in the top and then a block up here, we'll have to cut some holes in here. Uh, we'll have to round some of these edges out. There will be a Boolean uh, that will happen over here uh, or it's on this side. And then we'll just round out all of the stuff that we don't want uh, or at the end and we'll do the pick uh, Boolean. So just more of the same, but it's basically the shapes coming to an end. There's also, if you look at the references, this. Uh, silver insert or um, metal insert plate on the circular um, shape uh, we're not going to do that but if you want you can go and you know just have fun with it okay so let's get to I wonder if we can do we can actually I think this will be a good time to actually um, do the mirroring so we'll just grab everything yeah grab everything uh, we'll go to mirror uh, and then you select the plane, uh, this plane, and you can say OK. So body 50 is the last one we have, so just wait for it to mirror. Then you select body 50 all the way to group 1, and delete, delete contents. OK, so now we it's actually from right to front. Yeah, this looks good. Yeah, this looks good. All right, let's uh, make the Boolean uh, object over here. So if you go back to your reference or the reference, you can see, uh, let's grab this guy over here. We'll have to create that over there. Pretty easy stuff. So we'll just go back, make a box, um, select the bottom and let's just Make the box that's fine. We have that face. This we can just extend all the way out. Actually, we don't have to. We can just do that. 
and uh, we'll bring this guy in. Let's see how much we want to bring this in. I think a little bit more. It seems like the shape actually does cut with that fillet, but um, I don't think we made that fillet big enough. But it doesn't really matter. New body. And uh, actually fillet that. And then we can just cut the shape up. Yeah, it seems like the fillet is not big enough, so uh, let's grab this face. And intersect. Doesn't feel thick enough. I wonder if we can bring this guy down a little. Nope, okay. Then I'm not going to worry about it too much. Maybe we can bring this guy just up a little. Just so it feels a little bit stronger. Because um, that doesn't feel strong at all, to be honest with you. Like, I feel like this needs to go come down a little bit. I think I cut it too, um, too shallow uh, to the top. Uh, but, I mean, this is not going to be printed or anything. So, uh, it doesn't have to really fulfill its function right now. Why is this? Oh, I know what's happening there. Okay. So, that's done. Uh, well, I still have the... Uh, what is it? The pick rail boolean that will have operation that we have to do. I think it's actually a good time to do that right now. So let's go down um, to all of this pick rail. And now we have to grab all these um, and we'll just have to move it a little bit upwards. Uh, so it, I think it cuts around here. Yeah, I think that seems about right. So we'll grab this. Uh, boolean keep tools uh, we'll do a cut select so if you keep tools it will keep the uh, the original tools uh, so I just want to keep the uh, <coughs> I just want to keep the pick rail uh, as a boolean boolean cut keep tools okay so we can hide this guy and there we go all cut out. You can see there's like that circular pattern. So if you uh, choose to chamfer this, you can actually. Is there more of this edge that I have to grab? Okay, so let's see what's happening here. Uh, isolate. Yeah. So grab. Cancel. Grab this edge. Grab this edge. Actually, what you can do is you can, uh, this is frustrating, and isolate uh, opacity. I do that 30%, grab this face, and then, yeah, yeah. And then what's really cool, you can actually match the fillets. So you can pull it up, and then you can grab that, and it just matches the fillet, which is really cool. And then you can just bring the opacity back up to 100 or whatever you want. Okay. I think we can start adding um, the fillets on the front faces. Um, I think this one, or the chamfers, it's actually chamfers. So let's grab this and just chamfer. Oh. Shift C. Chamfer this down. I think that's fine. So 0 0.66 this guy does the backside have one as well I think so or this is the front actually um, yes it is so 0.66 and then these have as well man my phone is blowing up uh, <coughs> yeah so same thing so we'll just chamfer this can actually just to demonstrate it again you can just grab this oh that doesn't want to work no worries we remember what it was should be good at this point you should have a really solid base like you don't have to follow along anymore but I'll keep on going and just finish this guy up 
getting all the extras in there. I think what we can do now is uh, just get some of the, the cutouts, the screw cutouts. So um, let's grab this and up and do new body. So same as before. Another thing new, um, <coughs> cancel, move. This I think needs to be a little bit more to the metal. Um, this by here yep and then we'll just and also control V and then we'll just mirror these two alt shift s select and we'll use come on hold click and hold and then we use YZ face and there we go we can just cut that out that's cut out oh just untick uh keep uh, keep tools and then we'll just make a box right from the center actually no I don't want to do this I want to use center center rectangle so it actually creates on both sides um, maybe I guess that should be good let's just extrude okay so we have that think we're pretty much done uh, yeah I think we have pretty much everything in here you can go and refine this shape if you want to I'm not going to it's not something that I care about I mean you're not really gonna see it anyway uh, yeah it's gonna be hidden it's gonna be in the rail but you can you can add more chamfers like this this has to be chamfered so you can just add like a chamfer there or uh, a fillet actually terminology but I think it's more I th actually think in the actual thing it's more like a chamfer so let's just do a chamfer there you go so it is a nice we'll do it smaller maybe like that and then oh almost forgot we actually have to use or we actually have to add these uh, law circular uh, ones up there so I'll do circle again or cylinder grab it from this face let's make it big nice and big and bring this all the way down uh, we'll make this uh, new body because we don't want to cut it from the top as well so cancel we'll just grab that face mm, there we go and we'll just mirror this Just click there and then boolean cut select oh, get the tools again I think these have to be a little bit bigger Q and then select those inside faces and I think it should be bigger uh, but this is fine actually maybe even a little bit more forward let's just do it correct do it correct the first time around. Uh, no, that's not what I want. Cancel. And that face. No. Let's uh, grab the move tool. Center. And I think it should be somewhere there. Make it a little bit bigger. And then boolean. Select, cut, 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 and cut, and delete the tools. Pretty much done. Yeah, I think this is where we call it done. I hope this was informative um, and somebody learned something out of this. It's just a cool shape. Um, but yeah, see you in the next one.